because it's a track this weekend as the hosts look for their third win in succession against the team who they historically struggle against. And for the visitors, they have come off the back of back-to-back -back defeats. Impatient here down the left-hand side. Here's Bridge, looks to take it back in field. Bridge pressured by Tipton, he rolls it across here. Urges a shoot to Taylor, here's Scott Morris. Drills one across the box, it's scrambled. And it was a bit of a scuff shot there from Peppel, but it needed that deflection from Laurie Walker to take that into his grasp. It really did, yeah. Again, great build-up play, wasn't it? Instead, down the right-hand side for Southend on this occasion. Peppel will be disappointed. Would have been hoping to, to bury that and put the Shrimpers into an early 1-0 lead, but... In the distance, that is the long-haired Jack Bridge looking to take the corner here. Bridge delivers it into the box. It's flicked. It's a bit of chaos there, but there is an offside that's been given. Clark did hook it away. So it was given, I believe, or it might have even been a foul, but sometimes it's very hard to tell with the, the flags in the National League. Try and start off a little bit of an attack here, but Ralph is waiting for runners, but then he also gestures for players to come closer to him. He's had to go back to Crowther. And just across halfway now for South End United. Crowther goes long, looking for Appiah Forson. He's done well to take it under his grasp. He's done very well, and he's found the back of the net. What a brilliant finish that is for Appiah Forson. Absolutely outstanding. One touch control, puts it onto his left boots, finesse shot into the corner. And we said, didn't we, defensive lapses for Solly or Moores. It's a wonderful run in behind. And the, the placement of the finish is absolutely bang on the money. You can hear the South End travelling support. They've come here in their droves. And it is the Shrimpers who take the lead in the 19th minute. Yeah, it's a wonderful ball. And again, it came from Crowther just marching it forward, waiting for runners. Appiah Forson goes up against Whitmore, gets the ball down, and they get past Whitmore. Wilkinson gets it back from Osborne. Wilkinson goes down the left here. Joe Newton plays it in towards Stevenson. Stevenson pulls it back here. Wilkinson. It's a good challenge there by George Moncur. I don't think Wilkinson got a shout there as if to say that there's a player might be coming. Yeah, they are. And you can see Solly Hall's press is nowhere near as, as high as, as South End's. I'm just watching the movement of Arabin Peppel, the number 19. Here he is. The ball's actually gone to him right now. Really good hold-up play. Chance here for South End United, and it's a goal! Outstanding finish from Arabin Peppel. Shifting it onto his left foot. Bangs it home with aplomb. And the visitors go 2-0 up. Yeah, it's a great finish. And it was a brilliant call from you. It, it very much was the commentator's curse from you there. And it was wonderful work there by Arabin Peppel. Made his, made his physical presence known. Got the ball under control. Got it away. And fired a thunderous strike towards the goal. Finds the back of the net. South End United, two goals to nil up here. Yeah, it's very reminiscent, isn't it, of that game in the 23-24 season but it has to be said South End thoroughly deserving of this 2-0 lead both of the finishes have been said just a lack of movement lack of urgency from Solly or Moores at the moment Osborne looking to try and spark that into flow here as Clark plays it down the line here to Tipton Tipton gets it across the box set nicely for Bowen that's a wonderful finish that urgency was asked for and it was certainly granted what a brilliant finish that is by Bowen. And a great set there by Wilkinson. Certainly was, Stu. Drilled into that right-hand corner, wasn't it? Past the despairing dive of Colin and Dangan D. And there is the lifeline for Solly Hall Moores. It's 1-2 now. Five minutes of this first half still to go. Still opportunity, potentially, Robin's team. Here is Joe Newton down the left-hand side then. Pass it back to Jamie Osborne. Bostock goes for the cross. Well, it's worked on behind, and Dengar D just about tips it over the top. Well, I tell you what, that was a heart and mouth moment, wasn't it, for the South End shot stopper? Not even 30 seconds into the second half, and Solihull Moors already have a corner. Normally, our first question after half time is I wonder what the team talks have been like for the two managers. Whitmore wins the header against Bond. It's up towards Bostock, who just flick it down. Now finds Jamie Osborne. Advantage has been played by the referee, Osborne. Looks to find the right option, finds Bowen. Bowen across to Tipton. Tipton launches one over the bar. 
with the advantage that was played, that was a really good opportunity for Solihull Moors to put some pressure on there for South End because it looked a little bit shaky in the opening, opening stage of this second half. They certainly did, and it's a great hold-up play, wasn't it, from Jamie Osborne? Great little we pass spoke about this in the team news as Scott Morris attempts to chip that in behind to Arabin Peppel. He's held that up very commendably, brings it back towards Scott Morris. Will he take on the strike here? He puts it onto his right, and it's in! Well, we said it at the start of the broadcast. This man is in the vein of his life. Another goal, an eighth of the season for Gus Scott Morris. And that crucial goal in this second half goes in favour of the visitors. It's 3-1 in favour of South Ends. And to be honest, Stu, that one came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere, came from a right back going inverted. It came from drifting in field. And again, it was a really good run from Scott Morris. And he just fired it in at the near post. Oh, can he conjure up here? Bowen straight into Stevens. Good feet from Stevens. Turns back. And the referee is given a penalty. Almost an instant impact from Stevens, but the concern will be he's still on the floor. Yeah, he is. Hopefully this is nothing serious for Jack Stevens. He's taking his time to get back up. He was clutching his ankle then. He's he back on his like feet. He's up to his feet and he looks like he's okay. If it doesn't, as we see these two lining up and D and Dig and D lining up on his line. Stevens. Stevens scores! And now it's three goals to two for South End United. Confident penalty for Stevens. It's only his second goal of the season, of course, being hampered by injury. But an instant impact wins the penalty and converts the penalty. Talk about a super sub. It's one to have in the in the back of your, you, you know, the back of the Arsenal, most definitely. Blue, Blue Square Premier for those of a certain vintage. But this is peak National League as Gus Scott Morris launches that one into the box. Whitmore heads it. And it's ricocheted off his head and gone for a corner. Well, again, a, a heart in mouth moment, wasn't it, for Solly Hall Moore's momentarily? Walker did appear to have it did appear to have it covered, so no damage done. But as is the case in football, how quickly things can change. There's certainly some jostling in the box that nobody's happy with behind the goal bridge. Bon, and it's scrambled in. It was Bon that's headed it on. It's Arabin Peppel. And it is Arabin Peppel who wheels away in delight. The Solihull backline are not happy with one another. Tipton and Walker are at odds with one another. But of course, the faithful behind the goal to our right. And you said it yourself, Aaron. There's at least another goal, if not two in it. And South End have served one up for us. Someone's going to deliver it. Delivered well. Turn the click with a header. And it bounced down. And I think it would look like it was the foot of Bradley Stevenson that flicked it over the bar. And you would certainly say it's harder to miss than it is to score. It really is. I'm, I'm stunned as to how that has not burst into the net. But I would certainly agree with you, Frappier Forsen. And there goes the final whistle here at Damson Park. It is Solihull Moors 2, Southend United 4.